Ah, uh, here we go. Scientists create cyborg jellyfish with a device that helps them swim three times faster by sending electric jolts through their body. I'm sorry. This is one of the Why? stupidest stories I've ever seen. Why? Why? But I was so excited by it. I, I was I was I was insistent that we would actually read it. <laughs> so so scientists for some reason thought that we should take a jellyfish and give it motorized locomotion <laughs> to increase its speed. Why? <laughs> I just don't understand. I don't why. know either. <laughs> they their life is just floating along. That's they're their barely life. alive. They're barely life. They just like this they're is turtle my life. They're turtle food. I'm enjoying let's, myself. Let's, let's put engines on them. <laughs> right, wait, wait, no, read the story. No, hold on. So <laughs> I, I'm curious. I guess I should just read it. See. What is this? The team designs a microelectronic prosthetic that helps the creature swim three times faster um, than their unmodified counterparts while using less metabolic, uh, m metabolic energy. The device is about two centimeters in diameter and it is attached to the body with a small wooden barb. <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. What? Jellyfish are like the pigeons of the sea. So, first of all, they're ubiquitous. They're everywhere, yeah, but they're also they are. ripe for parody. They are <laughs> simple, silly creatures. Now they're dangerous. Like they the can, most, they the can most, be. Yeah. The most dangerous thing about a pigeon is that it poops on you. But jellyfish are just like bags of water that like flop around. So I someone got the bright idea to strap a motor to it and see what happens. Well, no, no, read it. Read, read, read more. Explain to us. Oh Let's go on. Let's explain. Says, How uh, does the jellyfish the, engine work? The researchers involved um, involved the product plan to equip the jellyfish with sensors so they can explore and <laughs> gather information about the ocean. Oh, it so, actually makes sense. Okay, so they're turning them into a little, like, you know, That's kind of creepy. That's creepy, though, man. It's kind of creepy. Yeah, but why, why mess with the jellyfish? I don't understand. It's like, they're not robotic they're not cyborgs. Well, look, no, no, it's they're, simple. They're actual jellyfish. So here, here, here's the way I see it now. Now, now I kind of understand. See, we, we, we jumped the gun on laughing at the scientists and their stupid jellyfish project. <laughs> they put the sensors on the jellyfish. The jellyfish can then collect information as it floats about. The problem is they're too slow. So they need to give the, the, the jellyfish electric motors to become cyborg jellyfish that could swim faster. And collect information faster. I honestly don't think we'll get a full segment out of this story, but it was so ridiculous. It's it's ridiculous. I couldn't help I, I couldn't help but laugh at the stupid idea of a, a motorized jellyfish. So it says here uh, the lead of the study says only five to ten percent of the volume of the ocean has been explored. So they want to take advantage of the fact that jellyfish are everywhere already to make the leap from ship-based measurements, which they're uh, which are limited in number due to the high costs. So uh, you know. I guess you, it, if you, it, it's you making watch, more sense as we do you watch Rick and Morty. I, I have seen a lot of, of the show, but you, I you probably, see the you see the one where he puts the cap on the dog and the dog becomes smart. Yes, I have yes. seen that one. Look what hell you hath wrought, scientists! <laughs> you will regret this day when the jellyfish <laughs> uprising occurs. But you know what's actually creepy about jellyfish? They're pretty incredible. Well, no, no, it's it's our overfishing. Mm -hmm. The jellyfish are replacing. So basically, like humans are disrupting the food chain. Mm -hmm. And so we're fishing out all of these fish that typically would like eat jellyfish. Yeah. And then when the fish are gone, the jellyfish just keep reproducing and then start taking over. Mm -hmm. This is where it gets gross. Now people are eating the jellyfish. I guess nature finds a way, right? I mean, is there nutrients in them? They're basically bags of water. Then why are you eating it? Well, I don't know. Why do you eat iceberg lettuce? Yeah. It's, just, <laughs> it's like 90% water, isn't it? Is, would you eat a jellyfish? Or no? Because no, it's, it's an animal. It, because it's an animal, yeah. Yeah, but it's barely an animal. It's just like a bag of water. That, that doesn't matter. It's a bag of water that reproduces. No, I know. Even I'm if I eat animals, still, I probably wouldn't eat jellyfish. Let's uh, but well, let's let's is there? Let's see if there's any more to the story. Let's let's go down. They say uh, if we can find a way to detect those these jellyfish and also equip them with sensors to track things like ocean temperature, salinity, oxygen levels, and so on, we could create a truly global ocean network where each of the jellyfish robots costs a few dollars to instrument and feeds themselves energy and from prey already in the ocean. I, I, I gotta say, I gotta stop. I feel really dumb making fun of their jellyfish motors. Me too. This sounds really smart. It does. It's like, why should we build a bunch of robots that float around the ocean? When there's things that float around the ocean already. Yeah. Just you know, boom, you know throw was one a little you know, you know was one of, the funny, one of the funniest things I've ever, ever heard about the ocean was from Joe Rogan. Uh -huh. On his podcast, he was like, he asked, somebody was talking about like Hawaii and surfing. Maybe, maybe it was Tulsi, I don't know. And he was like, no, I'm scared of the ocean. Like, aren't you scared of the ocean? And they're like, no, why? And he's like, 
because there's a whole bunch of stuff out there that moves a lot a lot better than you. And I was it was that exa- like, how did he say? He said it funnier. I'm, yeah. he, I'm not a comedian. He's a comedian. It was funny. Yeah. But it was a really good point. I'm like, oh, that's a really interesting way to think about it. Like you're in the water and you're like, I can't move. And then all of a sudden this thing shoots straight at you. And yeah. you're like, what are you going to do? Yeah. There's more to this story. Let's uh, let's 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 see what else we got. So they say, oh, this is interesting. Look at this. The prosthetic is coated in a waterproof plastic film and housed with a, with cork weights to keep it neutrally buoyant. The technology consists of a mini processor, lithium polymer battery, and two electrodes with LEDs to visually indicate s- stimulation. I ha- I got I got to stop. Could you imagine being a fish and you're like chilling and then all of a sudden this flashing cyborg jellyfish zooms at you three times faster than normal? <laughs> no better yet, from a human perspective, could you imagine if you were like walking around and all of a sudden you saw a squirrel with like metal plates on its body? And it just like jumped 50 feet in the air. Cyborg squirrel. Yeah. That, that yeah. is a frightening premise. Yeah. Like, <laughs> could you imagine if aliens were like, we're going to attach motors to birds to make them fly 10 times faster. And you see supersonic birds like bursting, <laughs> in, bursting into flames because <laughs> the friction. Crazy. All right. Let's see what we got. This is kind of cool, though. The jellyfish use a pulsing motion to swim. What is this to swim? Come on, get a copy editor, which moves them about two centimeters per second. This is America. It's a British publication. They're going to be metric. The, the the team is using an electric pulse to thrust the creatures faster through the water, which they compare to a cardiac pacemaker. This is, this is kind of cool. The animals pulsing sped up, producing a corresponding increase in their swimming speed to around four to six centimeters per second. The jolts were also found to help them swim more efficiently as they used just twice as much energy to do so as measured by the amount of oxygen consumed by the animals while swimming. In fact, the prosthetic equipped jellyfish were over a thousand times more efficient than swimming robot. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Also kind of scary. Jellyfish are going to come take over. Mm -hmm. We've shown that they're capable of moving much faster than they normally do without an undue cost on their metabolism, Zoo says. There's more to this. This story is ridiculous. Uh, This reveals that jellyfish possess an untapped ability for faster, more efficient swimming. They just don't usually have a reason to do so. <laughs> so what, they're doing inefficient slow, so, uh, whatever. You know, there's actually a funny point made in B movie, classic B movie. Uh, the B was asked, like, why doesn't he fly everywhere? And he was like, why don't you run everywhere? And I'm like, that's a good point. Like pigeons are hilarious because they just kind of like hobble. Yeah. And you're like, dude, you can fly. It's like, yeah, but flying is exhausting, man. <laughs> like, do you run? No, you just walk. You don't got to fly. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's wrap the story I've up. I've never seen there. B movie. Don't. Don't see it. Okay, I won't. The team also notes that jellyfish are not harmed by the pulses. These creatures do secrete a mucus when stressed, but no such secretion was observed in this experiment. Well, that's good. And I I also secrete mucus when stressed, as do many humans. (laughs) It's a joke. Don't make that face. And the jellyfish went back to swimming normally once the prosthetic was removed. Okay. I'm, 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 you know what? I love this idea. You know, it'd be cool. What if like aliens came to earth mm-hmm. now that we're talking about aliens like we were in the beginning and just like took a human and strapped crazy technology that we didn't understand and all of a sudden you were smarter faster you oh this was a twilight zone episode was it yeah yeah like two it was like two robots from the future or something were invisible maybe it was aliens and they made a guy like they were screwing with the guy making him really strong mm-hmm. and seeing how he'd react that'd be pretty cool interesting i kind of wonder like sometimes because humans kind of act like like, these jellyfish have no idea we even exist. Yeah. Can they even perceive anything other than, like, we're eating small things and floating about? And then all of a sudden, one day, they have, like, superpowers relative to the other jellyfish. No clue. Do jellyfish fight each other? Yeah. Who knows? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tack on just another little tidbits to this segment. Now that we're talking about giving inferior life forms powerful technology. Powerful. What do you think would happen if we went to, like... You know, you know those. You know what North Sentinel Island is? Mm-mm. It's where there's a. It's an uncontacted tribe, and it's like where is it? Like India or something? Like off the coasts of India or something? Uncontacted tribe on this island, and it's apparently illegal to contact them. But whenever like helicopters fly by, they start like throwing spears and firing arrows, and they've never had contact. There's also like Amazon tribes. But how can they see the helicopter though? Because you told me about the Native Americans and I think Christopher it's, Columbus's. It's, it's whole a big thing. different when a giant green dragon is ten feet and you, it's like whoa 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 and you're like ah. I know I'm and just, like a ship I'm off the horizon. <laughs> no, but but um, basically, you know they've never had contact, but they're going to fire arrows at you. What do you think mm-hmm. would happen if you went to those people and just gave them like I don't know an AK, just like here's a here's an AK full auto. Here's like a bunch of rounds and clips. They're ready to go. 
do you think they would do with it? I mean, they don't know what a gun is, so... No, they figure it out. They'd be like, if I point this at my enemies, they see they die instantly. They think it was magic. Mm -hmm. But they go nuts with it. Yeah. Like, if you went to an uncontacted Amazon tribe and, like, here's massive technology, bad right. things happen. It's so, so, basically, I bring this up because, like, talking about aliens, mm -hmm. why they wouldn't come and grant us technology overtly is because if you give a human ridiculous powers... They're going to get corrupt with it. You have to you have to allow the culture to evolve into the tech. So, like, okay. think about it right now. If all of a sudden an alien came down and they said, here's this bracelet. And when you wear it, you can point at anyone and they'll just, boom, they cease to exist. No evidence, nothing. Just gone. That's frightening. How many people would abuse that kind of technology? Way too many people. Yeah, they would just be like, ooh, I can get rid of that, my enemy, and no one will know, and I can go do evil things. Not everybody. Most people would be like, no, I can't do that. I'm not going to hurt somebody, even if I don't like them. Some people would go nuts with it. Or better yet, if you gave them tech that allowed them, like, you know, in, in, make them impervious or, like, levitate stuff, man, they'd go evil dictator overnight. It's True. like, boom. Yeah, I could see that. So it's kind of interesting. Um, there was, uh, in this vein, there was a story someone told me when I was working at Vice about this village in Saudi Arabia mm -hmm. that was super poor. So they were all very much, like, living in the 1800s. Well, water, ready clothes. And they found oil. All of a sudden, this village was super rich. So what happened? They started buying golden statues of themselves. They were all wearing like just ridiculous amounts of Rolexes and just spending money on dumb things. And they looked ridiculous. Yeah. And that's what happens when they all of a sudden get access to all this crazy stuff. They went nuts with it. Mm -hmm. And this guy told me, this is why poor people, uh, what did he say? He said, this is why poor people are poor. They win the lottery. What do they do? They buy golden statues of themselves. Yeah. They so, spend all the money. But there's no like understanding of the power in their hands. There's no responsibility. Right. And so it's similar to like the tech. I don't know how somehow we got onto the subject after talking about jellyfish, but I do think it's kind of fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We were talking about jellyfish. But we were talking about being a superior life form, giving inferior life form, advanced technology to compete. Hmm. Man, think about this too. Like there's other life. There's other life in the ocean fighting for food. Right. Now we're giving the jellyfish a leg up. They, they do not understand what they're doing. Now, it's a silly story. The jellyfish will collect data for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but now they're going to outperform their competition by three times the speed. True. That's got to have a, a, an evolutionary impact, right? Absolutely, yeah. We're messing with things we don't understand. I mean, I don't care. It's a jellyfish. Yeah, I'm just saying, you know. But the ocean is uh, it's, it's like the lungs of our planet. Like, we really need to reevaluate stuff. thought the Amazon rainforest was the lungs of our planet. That's not true, actually. Most it's the of ocean. Our, oh, most of our ocean... Like oxygen, oxygen comes from the ocean comes from and the carbon ocean. dioxide too yeah when the oceans heat up carbon dioxide comes out